It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 18th of April. I'm James Spann, improving weather today. A wet weekend ahead. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the Alpha Skycam network at the insane hour of 5 a.m. We'll start with a view coming from Tuscaloosa. The rain is over there. The sky is still cloudy. There's the Fayette County Courthouse in northwest Alabama. Rain has ended there. But it's still raining down in Chilton County early this morning. That's the uh, Clanton Sky Cam looking at the City Hall. Upper trough is moving along and the deeper moisture beginning to lift out. So improving weather should be the theme today. Although at uh, 5 o'clock this morning when that radar frame was captured, we still had rain south of a line from Jacksonville to Calera to Marion to Linden. And uh, that rain will be shifting off into Georgia. And we'll forecast slow clearing this afternoon. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 50s around the state, although it's still uh, 63 down in Montgomery. And if the sun breaks out today, we should see low to mid-70s. If not, we'll stay in the 60s. We'll see how it goes. Here's our watch warning map. Pretty quiet. A couple of frost and freeze issues up north. And of the next eight days, we have one day with a severe weather risk defined, and it's day four, and that's Saturday. And look at where that risk is about the southern quarter of Alabama. That would include Mobile and Dothan, South Georgia, including places like Valdosta, and the entire state of Florida. So I wonder if the Storm Chase guys will be headed down to uh, Orlando or Tampa or Fort Myers or Miami. Uh, they could have tornadoes easily down there in the Sunshine State on Saturday with the, this thing, as you'll see. And boy, look at the rain numbers coming up. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday evening through the weekend. Some big numbers, a, a bullseye of almost five inches down in southwest Alabama. And up this way, it's suggesting rain amounts of over two inches. So the weekend, unfortunately, could uh, feature a pretty good soaking. We'll check the modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. You can see the short wave is moving on to the east, and down below that, rain should be out of here. And again, it'll be a slow process. I could easily see some East Alabama communities staying cloudy all day today, but the sun should come out elsewhere by afternoon with a high in the low and mid-70s where the sun breaks out. Tomorrow should be gorgeous. Sunny with a high in the upper 70s. Friday looks good. Low-level moisture increases, but there's no forcing for rain, so... Uh, we'll just say partly sunny and more. Maybe some light rain by Friday night. And ooh, look at this thing. This is Saturday at 1 o'clock. Deep upper low over Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The surface low is almost right underneath that. It's almost a vertically stacked system. And uh, that surface low being on the Mississippi coast, that should be a very effective rain producer for most of Alabama. Will it rain all day? No, but it's going to rain a pretty good bit of the day. Thunder, possibly. If we see some thunder, the main issue would be from hail because of the cold air loft with that upper low. But remember, the severe weather risk will be mainly in the southeast quadrant of that thing. So that's a reason the uh, state of Florida is in the risk area. But Saturday just looks wet. And then Sunday, the upper low is near Bainbridge, Georgia. Down below that, surface low directly underneath that. It's stacked. We'll have wraparound moisture. No doubt we'll have rain at times on Sunday. Will it be as heavy as Saturday? Probably not, but Sunday still looks relatively wet. And again, uh, the severe weather risk would be uh, well to the south and east of here. But just a cloudy, rainy weekend ahead. Wish I had better news if you got something planned outdoors. And then Monday, the sun comes back as we all go back to work. And uh, we'll have some cool air advection. Probably start the day in the 40s. High right around 70, and Tuesday looks nice as well. And a week from today, we stay dry. Thickness values coming up, that will suggest a high around 80. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 3rd. Energy up in the northeast, and that looks pretty quiet. Good news, we don't see any major severe weather issues for the northern half of Alabama for the next 15 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you can't catch us on ABC 3340 on the TV side or the live stream at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a 
company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.